and hello everybody welcome back to another episode of kaz has my name is kaz von and this is rogue shooter it is a game that is currently available on steam for nine dollars and 99 cents it is a game by hippomancer so this is a game where you are in first person shooting stuff it's a lot like doom where it's sprite based you try and make it as far as you can there are 100 levels it's quite big and you try to make it as far as you can, and every time you end a run, whether you succeed or you die, you gain points. And the upgrades are in the options menu, which is kind of weird, but... You collect upgrade points, which allows you to upgrade your guy, so for the next run, you're a little bit stronger. So I have 374 points banked up, so I'm going to upgrade my health, my damage, and... Let's do damage again. It's useful. Um, so let's get into the nitty gritty of the technical issues that this game has, because there are quite a few. Um, I am not actually running this in double windowed. I'm running this in 1920 by 1080 full HD. I'm using 8 times anti-aliasing. Those are not standard options, because there is a patch made by a user, which allows you to kind of hack it in. It is available on the Steam forum for this game it is actually pinned onto the forum normally this game runs at i don't know the exact resolution but i'm going to guess it's around 640 by 480 it is tiny and it's not really playable like that the only way other way you can make it bigger is by doing double windowed which doubles resolution or stretched full screen which looks like garbage so don't do that use the uh little inject thing that they have it's a setting for the anti-aliasing, you're going to need something else. It's all explained in the forum. I won't get into it too much, but without it, the game doesn't look that great. So I'd, I'd assume that you'd want to do that. And it's available for NVIDIA and ATA cards. Anyway, everything else you can look up in the menu include the help menu, which gives you help on all the things if you want to know. Enemies, as you progress through the game, you collect those points, which is actually Intel. I have 3,576 intel. I've been playing for probably three hours. Um, as you unlock more of this, it starts to unlock the portraits and the weaknesses of all the different monsters. These are all the monsters in the game. Uh, the last tab are the bosses. I won't reveal that just in case you want to play and be surprised. I mean, they're all... None of them are too, too special. Um, just looking at them. There is a variety, but they're all kind of mishmashed. From what I understand, like from what I've played. So there's no really themed levels. But anyway, enough of that. We're just gonna continue the game that I'm already in because this does have saves, which is kind of weird for a roguelike. Normally you just play until you die, but this has saves. It was actually patched in post launch because people requested it. Because, I don't know, going through 100 floors, I think someone calculated it would take a couple hours. So it's understandable that you want to save state. So here I am. I'm in the pause menu actually. I've cleared out this floor, and I will just show you. If you hit space, it'll open up your menu. It doesn't actually stop anything. You can actually still move around if you need to, but it's kind of dumb to play that way, and I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, so you can get into your menu and set up your armor, your weapons. You can only switch weapons by hitting Q. You can't use the number pad, the number keys, because those are for your items. You'll see in the lower right-hand side down here when I'm out of the menu. Uh, that is corresponds to these slots here so I right now I have a 13 frag grenades nine stun grenades and six turrets turrets are really good they're kind of rare but they're really good also you have inventory space here anything that's blacked out is broken I don't know why I'm keeping that oh it's way better you can repair things in this but you have to actually get to a safe room every four levels you end up going to a safe room level which allows you to hit a vending machine and uh, lets you repair stuff oh we're at a safe room. Perfect. This is perfect. Great. Fantastic. So you can go to a vending machine and you can spend the credits, the money you've collected, and you can buy more ammunition for all your various weapons. You can re-up your health, which I'll actually hit one of those because I need it. Uh, you need rations. You eat three food every floor. If you don't have enough food, you move a lot slower. So I would suggest always upping on the rations. You can usually find stuff in levels, but I like to be safer than sorry. You can also get a randomized weapon. Uh, if you hit armor, this is a plus 11 unrelenting belt. I don't know if you can read that. It's kind of hard to see. But every time you hit a new vending machine, it'll have a randomized weapon and a randomized armor item that you can purchase. Uh, they're usually not any better than what I have. And even if they are, I don't really tend to grab them. 
So you can hit the tool belt, the tool bench to repair items. It uses up tools every time you repair a bit. So let's see, this is at 7% repair, dur 1 out of 15 durability. I don't want to use this helmet, I want to use this one because it's better. So I'm going to hit it once and see it repaired 10 of the durability and it, I think it's at 21%. So I'm going to keep going until it's pretty good. Uh, what else can I repair here? Um, probably my belt because it looks like crap. I don't know how to get back into repair after I uh, click out of it, so I usually just back out and get back in. That's the thing. Uh, the UI in general, kind of clunky. Um, it takes some doom, but it's not too, too bad. So that's all you can really do in the safe room. It lets you re-up your stuff and get a little prepared for the next four floors. Uh, something else you can get, I might as well just show off right away, is you can pick up these security tabs, these secure pads, and these you can hack in a little mini game and that'll get you extra credits. So I'm gonna try this. I always do horribly. So my mouse is controlling the little green guy and see, I just got murdered right away. Sorry about that. I'm not any good at that. There are perks you can take, which is my next thing I was gonna show you. Uh, when you level up every 1000 XP, you gain a perk point. The perks I have right now are fast fingers, which allows you to reload faster. Safety dance, which lets me blow the living hell out of everything and I don't hurt myself with my own explosions, which is great because I have a lot of frags. And bullet binge. This one allows me to find more bullets, so more ammo will spawn as drops in the game, which is good. Um, my other go-to is the critical hit chance. So I'll just hit that one. Every time you level up, you get a perk point and you can get another perk. So by the time you get to the end of the game, I assume you'd have probably most of these. So. Uh, let's get going, and we'll get into some combat here. What do I got? I got my machine gun, and I got my pistol, and we'll exit this floor and get into some actual combat. As you'll notice, this is kind of a more modern Doom style. It's all sprites, and the, even the levels, the walls and stuff, they're all just flat sprites. Let's see if I can, like, mow these guys down. Oh, yeah, I'm on a later level, so these guys are kind of hard. And you only have to, if you look in the upper right, it'll say how many percent of threat is remaining. That it corresponds to how many enemies there are. If you eliminate about half of the enemies on a floor, the exit is unlocked and you can run to the exit and go to the next floor without eliminating everything. But then you miss out on all the loot. So I don't know why you'd even want to do that. But I guess it's an option if you're just trying to speed run through it, which I don't know, some people might want to actually do because there's so many floors. Just pick up some food there. Uh, another thing you'll notice is that you cannot look up or down. It's kind... It, it's okay because of the whole um, style of the combat and stuff. You only really have to move left and right. There's no elevation to the levels. All the levels are completely flat and straight. Um, it does get a little annoying when you're trying to... Like, when there's a pile of equipment on the ground and you're trying to pick out, pick out a very particular thing on the ground that you want to pick up. But you can't look down. You just kind of have to walk over it. That gets real irritating. But, you know, that's just a nitpick, I guess. Uh, that's a revolver I don't want. So, I think I'm done on this floor. And one of the good things is, I mean, if you open the exit early, you can run here and open the door. But if you're somewhere else in the level, you hit the space bar and just exit the floor and go on to the next one. I like that. It's pretty good. Sensors, de sensors detect vegetable-based life forms. I'm pretty sure there's weaknesses associated with different kinds of life. Uh, I'm not smart enough to figure that out, so, sorry. <laughs> uh, even when it has... Ah! Ah! Even when it says that there are, like, specific kinds of enemies on a the floor, there's always kind of a mix. I mean, the guys in the yellow suits, they're the base level monsters. They're pretty much on every floor. There we go. Unlock the exit. Another ability you have is you always have a melee with the right click. It's your boot, and it stuns, but very shortly. I think there's a perk that makes it more effective, but uh, never really have to use the boot. I like to shoot things. I like to shoot and move. But if you don't like head bobbing animations, I kind of like it because it makes it feel more frantic, but you can turn that off in the options, so that's a good thing. But one thing you cannot turn off in the options of this game is mouse acceleration, and that sucks. If you don't know what mouse acceleration is, I can probably even demonstrate it. Let's see here. If I aim right here and I put my finger right next to my mouse, 
on the left side of my mouse, I'll put my finger so I cannot move my mouse any further than this. And I move my, my mouse and... Whoop. See how it moved further than the point that my mouse could physically move? And that has to do with, it moves your mouse cursor faster and at a higher sensitivity, the faster you actually move your mouse. So that makes you incredibly inaccurate and it's really annoying. It's something you have to get used to and it's something that I never play with normally. So that was really a, actually a huge hurdle trying to actually get any good at this game. It was just kind of a pain in the D. I wish they would just get rid of it. Most modern games allow you to get rid of it, or at least have it dictated by your Windows settings, but this game apparently does not let you do that, so that's kind of irritating. Another nitpick I have is this runs at a steady 30 frames per second. It does not go any higher, and that is kind of a bummer. Uh, the higher the frame rate, even if it's beyond, like, my monitor is only 60 hertz. Oh, jeez, what, what are you? What are you doing? I am out of ammunition. Probably gonna die here soon, but that's okay. Uh, if it's over the refresh rate of your monitor, you don't see any more frames, but you do feel more responsiveness in the mouse, like your mouse movements, which is really important in a first person shooter, and I do not have any ammunition. I can switch weapons if I have anything that doesn't use straight up bullets. Ah, I have an energy gun. But uh, yeah, I. I I really wish they would, I don't know, maybe the engine just can't support it. Maybe it's not too, too necessary, I guess, because, I mean, it's not 3D, really? I mean, it is, but it's not, you know what I mean? These are all just sprites, so I would appreciate it, though. But I just really like the movement. I like the, I like the head bobbing, like I said earlier. I like how frantically fast you move. Oh, this guy's effing me up. Get out of here. Die, 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 die. But, uh, yeah, there is a lot of weapon variety in the game. Um, oh, thought you were dead. Get out here. Die. Well, that's an Aegis device. I'm not using any of my equipment right now because I'm too busy talking rather than thinking. Oh, yeah, I just got eat. He just ate my butt. He just ate me in the butt. So that's what happens when you die. When you die, it'll add up all your intel, add it to your total, and throw you on your leaderboard. And if you see these black bars, that's actually what the native resolution of the game is normally. It's like 4x3 and really weird. Thankfully with the fix, it kind of takes care of that. The only problem with the fix is that when you exit the game, it crashes. And if you try and alt-tab and come back into it, it crashes. So, hope you don't like alt-tabbing. But that's okay, because it's actually, it looks way better than it did before. Before it was all muddy and weird. I actually didn't even want to make a video of it because of how it looked. So, uh, what else can I show you? There is a tutorial level, but um, when you start the mission, you can choose between Easy Core. Easy Core is only 50 floors, and it's a lot easier, and then you get a fake ending. Hardcore has all 100 floors, and this is actually normal. And there's Harder Core, and I don't actually know the difference between these at all. I haven't really played on them. And I'll show you that I collected more intel, so I should be able to get an upgrade. There are 494 upgrade points, so now I get more health, and then more damage, and then I make another run, and I'm more powerful this time, so I can get further, inherently. Pretty much showed you everything I know, or I could think of to show you about this game. It's, I think it's really neat, but it's got problems. So if you can look past all the problems, I think it's a pretty cool game. Definitely worth a pick up on a Steam sale if you're just a little bit interested, but if it's your thing, man, Pick it up, it's available. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.